Hey, this is Brother Jeff with eLearning Brothers, and I'm going to uh, walk you through how to use the new updated game show storyline game. And uh, as you can see inside of the uh, template library, all you have to do is navigate to the activities and then articulate storyline, and then go ahead and download the template. All you do in this game is hit continue. It gives you some instructions and then hit start. And then it gives you up to five different categories, and then each category has three different rows. Now you select which category that you want and then it presents you with a question and you have uh, the, this question with uh, four different possible choices. You go ahead and select on your desired choice and if you get it correct it will show you some correct text and it will add points to that. And once I hit continue it will take me back to my game board. It will let me show or let me see that I got that question correct and I can go ahead and select a different question. So if I select a different question I get that wrong. I go ahead and hit continue and now I can see that that uh, red outline means that I got that question wrong. And you can continue throughout this throughout until you've answered all the different questions. So let's go ahead and take a look how you build this inside of Storyline. Once you download the interaction, it is a Storyline template. So you can see it downloads to my desktop as a Storyline template and all I have to do is double click on it. What happens then is it gets added to my template library that I can use throughout the course, which means that I can come over to this file that was downloaded and delete that and not have to worry about it because I can use it every time I add a new slide or a new interaction. It just becomes part of my different uh, templates within my storyline templates here. So I select the interaction and then hit import. And this will import as a new slide, in this case, to my interaction. Um, and I can choose different options whether it gets imported as a new scene or it gets imported right after. Uh, but that's all I have to do is basically select which one, uh, which one of those options I want. And then it imports it within my course. Now, <clears throat> you see over here on the left-hand side, there's a bunch of instruction text that helps me get started with how to start using this interaction. Now, it does talk a little bit about the different variables that can be used throughout this, uh, this game show interaction, like the game show number of questions and also the game show row 1 points, game show row 2 points, and row 3 points, as well as any variable that starts with the letter Z is one that we recommend that you don't change unless you're really familiar with the interaction. Now the way that you change variables within Storyline is come over to the uh, right hand side and click on the X button, the variable X button, and it will pop open a window with all the different variable choices that you have. Now the first choice is game show number of questions. By default, there's a total of 15 questions that can be asked. Now I can change that. Let's say I only want to do nine questions. Uh, I can go ahead and change that to nine questions and then change the row um, game show row one points, game show row two points. And that's uh, the top row is 100 points, the second row is 300, and then the third row is 500. But I can change that to whatever I want. Now all the rest of the variables here are start with the letter Z, and so those are ones that I don't want to change. Um, but keep in mind on the number of questions that if I change that to 9, I'm going to have to remove some of the tiles on the game board, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So if I only have, I'm going to come to the game board on my layers here, and you'll notice this is my, uh, my different categories. And if I select the nine questions, I'm going to, since there's 15, I'm going to have to remove some of them. So I'm going to have to remove the last two categories and just slide those two categories off stage. That way I only have nine questions to answer. And that means when I go throughout all these different questions and the different layers, I only have to go through uh, category three and then make sure all category three questions are filled out and the rest of them I don't have to worry about. But if I'm asking all 15 questions, I want to make sure that all 15 um, tiles are in there and uh, positioned correctly as well. So that's all you do with the uh, game show tiles here. Now you would just come into the different categories. Now the layers match up with the different categories. You can see that category one question 100. When somebody selects category 1, question 100, this is the question that's going to show up. And it uh, shows the label here. And you can go ahead and change the label, change the uh, question itself, and then come over to the different responses and change those as well. So all I have to do is just start typing in something else. And uh, go throughout all the different choices here. Now, by default, this one B, the letter B, is set to be correct for this. And so if I don't want this one to be correct, then I need to come over and adjust my triggers. 
So if I select the letter B, you'll notice it already highlights option two here, which is the uh, B. And all I need to do is come over and adjust a couple of things. I need to adjust where it says set game show state uh, QC100 to correct. I actually need to select the drop down or select that and change it to incorrect because now this option is going to be incorrect. Um, and then I need to come over to uh, the show layer and where it says category one 100 correct. I'm not going to show the correct uh, response. I'm actually going to show the incorrect response. So I'll select the drop down box and select category one 100 incorrect. And then I need to copy this one where it's add points uh, because I don't want to add points if they get it incorrect. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. And I'm going to, if uh, option C now is correct, I'm going to come down to option C and I'm going to paste that variable, the add points here. I'm going to paste that variable in. And so those points actually get added uh, if you select this instead. But a couple other things I need to do is I need to um, set the game show state 100 to correct instead of incorrect because now this one is correct. And that's what changes the red and the green colors. Um, if you don't want even those to change at all, you can just go ahead and delete that one. But And now I need to show the layer. I'm not going to show a layer of incorrect. I'm going to show the layer of correct. And so I'm still on category one, question 100. And now that one is correct. So when they select on option C now, it's going to take them to the correct feedback. When they select on any other option, it's going to take them to the incorrect feedback. And so I just come in here on the correct feedback and the incorrect feedback and change that text. Now, that's pretty much it. Once I uh, have done that, I go through option uh, or category one, question 300, and then change the correct and incorrect labels. But just make sure that you adjust if you don't uh, want option C here to be correct. You just adjust those two different or those three different things. Adjust the change of the uh, state to incorrect or change it to correct if it is correct and then change the adding the points from one option, copy that and paste it to another and delete it from the option that no longer gets points. And then change uh, where it shows the layer to correct um, option category three or category two or category one, whatever it is uh, from question 300 correct to question 300 incorrect. So that's how you fill out the game. Once you're uh, done with all that, the different questions, you come up to the results and then you can change the results uh, over here. You can change the label and the text. And this is what's going to show at the end of the game. And now I can just go ahead and within Storyline and start adding on other slides and different interactions or even other games from the uh, template library. But that's how you go ahead and get started with the eLearning Brothers Game Show interaction within Storyline.